For your patients with peripheral artery disease, the goal is simple, to keep walking. And our goal is to provide you with the technology to make it happen. That's why we keep working on breakthrough technologies like the Alluvia Stent. This drug-eluting stent has demonstrated unprecedented efficacy in patients with PAD. Designed to deliver paclitaxel when restenosis is most likely to occur, the Alluvia Stent offers a long-term solution to PAD. The, uh, the drug delivery platform for Alluvia is unique among drug-eluting stents that have, been, have come before it for the SFA. Alluvia's platform is meant to sustain drug release out to 12 months, and that really is important because we know that that's the period of time where restenosis peaks for SFA interventions. Prior drug code stents have had uh, difficulties. Some of them never made it to the marketplace because they were not successful. But I think the Alluvia represents a potential advantage even over those earlier technologies because of its tuned uh, elution profile. From my initial experience as being one of the um, uh, study PIs of the Majestic trial, we have learned that in particular the, the midterm uh, outcome of implanting a uh, Alluvia stand into the SFA is extremely good. So the one year outcome was extraordinary with regard to a very low uh, restenosis rate and the reintervention rate, which was the lowest ever seen so far for any kind of stent. And at two years still, the reintervention rate is remar remarkably low. Built on the proven Innova stent platform, Alluvia is designed to provide uniform scaffolding for drug delivery and is optimized for flexibility, radial strength, and fracture resistance. Well, I think if, we, if we're looking at drug eluding stents primarily, we've got a technology that enables us to uh, offer, in fact, a, plat a scaffold platform that is unrivaled in terms of the bare metal nitinol performance of that platform. So it's a state-of-the-art platform. We also clearly have you know, proven paclitaxel, but also this concept of prolonged elution. If you actually aren't committed to initially to using a plain balloon before you're deciding which drug therapy you're going to use and you see you need a scaffold, then the evidence supports that scaffold should be a drug eluding stent and the best data at the moment is with Alluvia, so that would be my treatment of choice. Having that drug eluding stent with a very reproducible outcome for every single patient that's tremendous value right there. So I think drug eluting stents will continue to have more and more of a dominant role in the care of PAD as we move forward. As the leader in drug eluting stents, we are excited for future advances in below the knee and critical limb ischemia. We will keep working on new polymer-based technologies and novel drug delivery systems with one goal in mind, helping your patients to keep walking.